All right, let's continue. Um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to import the necessary modules for this. Um, I need IM read to bring in the image as an array. PLT to compare the images, both the input and the filtered. And NumPy I need for array uh, manipulations. Okay, so let's move on. In the first part, we're going to transform the image from color to grayscale. So I thought this was interesting to do, just to show you how it's done. Uh, this is definitely overkill for if if you, if you just want to do a transformation in like from color to grayscale, there are functions that come pre-installed that you just do it. It it's in a, a one-liner, okay? But I'm I'm gonna go here for uh, the extra step just to show you if you wanted to do it, how to go about it. And there's some information here in the like in the intro to the script that shows you some references okay but this is there's a ton of stuff of information on google so you're one click away to finding out more if you're interested um all right so first thing is here i'm giving the file path for the input image in this next line i'm bringing it in bringing in the input image as an array and in this line i'm finding out what the shape of that input image is Notice that there are three dimensions to this input image because it's a colored image. So you can see here, we ha we're going to have uh, three components to it. Uh, red, green, and blue. So let's do, let's do this piece of code here. And notice, notice that we can take a look at the shape here for the input image. Notice that we have these three numbers here. This is giving basically the height of the image. This is giving you the width. And this is giving you the three colors associated with it. So the first, the first slice of image is associated with red. The second one is associated with green. And the third one is associated with blue. Uh, which comes to the next line of code. I'm basically taking the slices of the input image. So everything in the first dimension and the second. The red component. Uh, just remember, if you're not familiar with Python and some other languages as well, they use zero to, to, to just mean the first element. Uh, the second one here, um, we, we have for like the green component and the blue one. So this chunk of code is just basically taking, splitting those out. So now we have the red, green, and blue components. And this, these next three lines of code it's what's being used to transform the image from from um, color to grayscale. Just before I run this, just keep in mind this is nothing more than a. I'm using parameters, and we're weighting each one of those components in such a way that we're gonna gr get uh, grayscale. Depending on what we set these parameters, especially gamma. Gamma here is the one that I would say you can you can change. You can see what happens. These are pretty much what you you have to use for them to to give you a grayscale. So let's see what this would look like. Let's see what this would look like. Um, oh yeah, and this this chunk of code is purely for showing the image. So there's nothing in there. So when I use the gamma of 1.4, uh, this is the type of output you get. Uh, you can play around with that gamma and see what happens. So let me just do a quick one here. And keep in mind that this is going to influence how well your edge detection is going gonna, is gonna to be because we're going to be applying the filters to the grayscale image. So let's say we were to do this, make it 0.4. Notice that it's much, much lighter. Uh, so you can think about how this will behave when you calculate the edges. Is this going to be better or is this going to be worse when calculating the edges? I'm going to leave this for you to find out as you change this. Um, if I go in the opposite direction, if I make this much larger, you're going to see different behaviors and you get something much darker. Um, for this example, I'm just going to set this to 1.4 and we're going to go from here. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using this as the version of our grayscale. Okay. So imagine, so this is going to be from now on, this is going to be the image we're going to be operating on. And as we saw in the previous, in the previous uh, video, the whole method 
it relies on we're going through small windows of three by three chunks and we're going to be slicing we're going to be sweeping through this image slice by slice and we're going to be applying those two filters both the gx matrix and the gy matrix to calculate what should be the output value that output value is going to make up the output image the filtered image that we're interested in so each one of those just as a reminder each one of if you were to zoom in in that grayscale image you'd be seeing chunks of three by three that look just like this and once we have this it's just applying those matrices and the multiplications that that that, that we described in the previous video for you to actually get the the edge detect the image so this is the second part now of the Sobel operator so here in the like this little description I'm showing you what the GX operator is and the GY is so and and here I'm just redefining it we did this previously but we need this here as well um, so we calculated this and in this line we're finding out what the number of rows and columns are and here I'm I'm basically putting a placeholder for our output image but I'm making it all zeros for now we're going to be, as we move and sweep through the grayscale image, we're going to be filling in what these values should be. But for now, they're all zeros, okay? So here, we define those images. Now, this here, this chunk of code, is the entire process that we're going to be doing. We have two loops. This, these two loops is we're going through the, through the rows and we're going through the columns. And for each of those, whenever we have a patch of image, we're going to be calculating the GX component, we're going to be calculating the GY component, and we're going to be filling in for the Sobel filtered image the output value, so which is nothing more than the, the square root of the sum of the squares of these values. So that's like the hypotenuse, the, the absolute value of the variation, both in the X and the Y direction. So let's just run this. Uh, actually, let me just before before I do, just uh, for reference, range here, because take a look. Just just keep in mind the following. In the original image, um, the grayscale actually, but we can use this here. This is the left edge and the top edge. So I'm gonna be starting from here. So I'm actually the first chunk of the first chunk of image, the first patch. This top, this top uh, edge here is going to be matching the top edge of the image, but I'm going to lose. When I do the edge detect the image, I'm going to be losing both this edge and this one here. I'm going to be outputting here. So that's why I do the minus two. You don't need to do this. You can, you can instead of having this matching the original image, you can have this matching the original image and you just place zeros or you can mirror it like take the values from the other side of the image you can do other things but for 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 this example i'm just going to be losing this so this is why this i'm doing this negative two here and for those of you who are not familiar for each item in range let's say 10 let's print what those items are they are nothing more than uh, they're iterating through each integer that goes from 0 to 9 so 1 before 10 there are still 10 elements they just start from 0 okay um, so see if you can understand based on what we've done and based on the stuff that I have in the in the github page see if you can understand this what's going on this is nothing more than sweeping through the image So this is going to be it, basically. Now that we're calculating the Sobel filtered image, this is what we want. This is what we're interested in from the, from the get-go. And this last chunk of code is just going to compare the input image to what we just calculated. And as you can see, we, uh, we obtain the edges. It's basically calculating the gradients of like, uh, how, how bright, how, how does the image go, the grayscale image in that case, how does it go from being dark to bright how are these gradients happening so this is basically a reflection of that remember that gx and gy are sort of a, a differential operator you can think of it like that um, so 
that's it this is pretty much what we're interested in and uh it's not that complicated once you understand what what's going on um and I, I left this here in case you want to save the image. Like once you do calculate the Sobel filtered image, you can just save it. Um, this is a little like verbose. There's more more things here to unwind. Just, just because I want to show you how to do this, there's no point, right? If you if if once you understand it and you don't want to do that all of the calculation, you can always use these pre-installed functions that they have in other packages. But um, this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it.